checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Ethan Page versus Trick Williams in a Devil's Playground match. We get Trick Willy Wonka for Halloween, which is cute. So they very immediately use a jack-o'-lantern, and we get spots where Ethan's stumbling on the ring with a jack-o'-lantern on his head and can't get it off. Always great comedy. And they brawl through the crowd Man, forever. Man, boy, did they clean that pumpkin out. <laughs> yeah. They cleaned that pumpkin out. They may have even put, like, paper mache on the inside to make sure no pumpkin guts got on Ethan Page. Must have been in his contract or something. That was the cleanest inside of a pumpkin I've ever seen. So uh, they brawl outside forever, and here's where we learn it's false count anywhere because they're trying pins. Crowd is sending one more pumpkin. That's all they want. So at least somebody in the show finally got a sustained heat segment. Ethan beat up Trick for a long time. And then Trick makes his comeback. Trick hits his finish, makes a cover. Ethan gets a foot on the ropes. The ref stops counting. Nobody cares. No, wrong. Wrong. Because I, I because Trick, well, here's what happened. Trick hit the knee. Ethan put the foot on the ropes. The ref counted, but he stopped when the foot went on the ropes. And yes, at that exact split second, the crowd was dead, okay? But then, as soon as the ref starts counting, there's a brief moment where the crowd's dead. And then suddenly you hear, boo! And I'm like, what are they booing about? And then I realize, because the announcers realized, there's no rope breaks in this kind of match. Yeah. The referee, or either the referee, or the agent, or the wrestlers, or everybody, totally fucked this spot up. And the crowd, I mean, I didn't even remember that, but they knew. They start turning on the match because this referee fucked everything up. I was like, how do you make that mistake? And it was worse because the announcers pointed it out for those of us that didn't know why they were booing. Well, they told us. That was stupid. Yeah. Yes, they eventually cared. But it took them a while to even figure out what had happened. So... Ethan then grabs a bag of strange objects. Yes. And I think, okay, obviously it's going to be thumbtacks, but it'll be something terrible to bump on. It's mostly washers. Well, it was it was supposed to be nuts and bolts. That's what they said. But there were a lot of washers. It's mostly washers. And, which... like, he pours them out on the mat, and, you know, we see this all the time with thumbtacks and Legos and shit. It's like you pour them on the mat, and then you tease it, and you don't deliver. You tease it, and you don't deliver. You tease, and then finally hit it. He pours these bolts on the mat, he immediately starts to climb, and he gets thrown into the bolts. Yeah, it was like that. It was yeah. like there, there was no build. There was no drama. And then they never used him again. Yeah. It was funny, too. There was, like, little clear rubber balls in amongst everything, too. It was just grab some stuff and throw it in this bag. Yeah. But it's mostly washers. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, they're how, flat. Yeah, they're, they're free flat. I mean, I'd rather bump on a plane mat than a mat with washers on top sure but i mean i've seen a dozen chris jericho matches this past year with worse things to bump onto than this and uh they did this got nothing out of it there it is and then uh then things actually do start getting violent they bring the stairs in the ring and start taking drew mcintyre hangman page for stricken bumps onto the edge of the stairs don't do that this is the worst trend in wrestling in 22 in 2024 do not bump on the edge of anything. And uh, they go back outside. Ethan hits the ego's edge off of the stairs through the announce desk, which breaks. Not nearly the pop you'd expect for the main event. Biggest star getting put through the table, flying through the table like this. Trick comes up bleeding, and they are checking him for internal injuries. But uh, he insists on continuing. The match continues. Ethan has the stairs over his head. Is screaming that Trick doesn't have what it takes. And so Trick has to fight dirty. He nut shots Ethan, slaps him across the face, smacks him with the stairs, hits a trick shot, and wins. So at least they did finish with the story here. Trick had to fight dirty to win. And in the end, he did. Yes. It was, it was, I, I thought it was a solid match. Solid. That's a good I word. Can't, I mm-hmm. can't give it anything better than that. Mm-hmm. So then out comes Ridge Holland. And he attacks Trick Williams. And I thought, okay, Rich has got a lot of heat. This is the best he's ever been. But is this your, like your next title feud? And so he starts stomping him down, and then Ethan Page starts stomping him down. And the crowd starts buzzing. And I'm like, who the fuck's running in now? Mm-hmm. Ends up being Bubba Ray Dudley. Who had been all over the show, by the way. Sure. He'd been doing a lot of, of stuff. Plugged the radio show, and there was a bit where Ridge Holland almost interrupted him or something. So was... Yep. 
So Bubba Ray runs wild and clears the ring, and it appears that one of the big matches for the mm-hmm. ECW show is going to be Bubba Ray and Trick Williams versus Ethan Page and Ridge Holland. I wonder who's going over. What a bizarre match. <laughs> it's quite strange. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.